Well, good luck to all of you who have filled out one of those pick fives. I will keep you updated as the races continue on here to see if anybody gets on the verge of maybe going five for five. And as well, all of our players that have played the play four, the super pack, and the pick five, you guys are all entered into our nightly draw here tonight for a $10 wagering coupon. And all week long, all entries in for the tickets for the Rock the Boat Festival in Tyne Valley. They're rocking, though, behind the gate for the sixth. Here's Vance. Two-year-old Philly Pacers are chasing $9,660 in here. Six of them across the gate. Dusty Lane Bria, three pink bows. Swift Taylor, Miss Pamela May, Woodmere Costalot, and Centurion Sue. Post time. The rough end pacing three pink bows is leaving out. Centurion Sue from the outside, and she scats right to the front for Ford. Second now is three pink bows around the turn from third. That is Dusty Lane Bria settling up into fourth is Swift Taylor. Then in fifth at the rail, Miss Pamela May and a Woodmere cost a lot will be the trailer. So the Phillies have settled up early with pylon positions and Centurion Sue, the fraction setter, in line to Keith Ford. Second at the rail, Dusty Lane Bria up into third. Make that check. And at the rail is three pink bows. That's Dusty Lane Bria now third. 31 and one was the first panel. Fourth on the rail is Swift Taylor. Underway in the outside fifth, Miss Pamela May. And Woodmere cost a lot is the trailer. So the backfield shows some life here because that is Dusty Lane. Bria rushing up on the outside to challenge Centurion Sue and Dusty Lane Bria for Arsenal to the front in the blink of an eye. Centurion Sue is second, popping out from third. That is three pink bows, the half mile in 101 and three. So they stepped it up, 30 and two in the second split. Moving up fourth, that is Miss Pamela May on the rail fifth. It's Whip Taylor and Woodmere Costalot continuing to trail. They move to the back stretch and they're going to three quarters. Dusty Lane Bria, the leader. The challenge comes from three pink bows on the outside. Centurion Sue at the rail third. Miss Pamela May outside in fourth. Up the rail fifth is Swift Taylor. And Woodmere cost a lot the trailer. Three quarters in one. 31 and one. They went 29 and three here in the third. Now they come for home. Dusty Lane Bria is on top. Three pink bows. Second on the outside. Swift Taylor moving up third on the line in the Atlantic Sire States. That is Dusty Lane Bria for Kenny Arsenault. Second is three pink bows. Swift Taylor got up to be third. The Phillies are fine tonight in two minutes. One fifth.
Brianna's attitude, the dam of this filly, has quickly become a good producing broodmare. And Kenny Arsenal will be the first guy to tell you tonight, coming back half at 58 and 3, his filly was mighty special in her sire stakes debut tonight in Summerside. She is Dusty Lane Bria, the bay facing filly, too, by Ameripan Gigolo. From Apache's fame dam, Brianna's Attitude. Owned by Kenneth Wilkie of Stratford and Larry Chapel of Marshfield. Kenneth does the training. Kenny Arsenal, the winning driver. Debuting in two minutes, one-fifth for a maiden record. Dusty Lane Bria in the Atlantic Sire Stakes. Here's the official...